The Chihuahua is recognized by the American Kennel Club as a toy dog breed with a big dog personality and a terrier-like demeanor. Also, the Chihuahua is one of the oldest dog breeds, with a heritage dating back to pre-Columbian civilizations. However, it is said that the breed originated in Mexico and gained popularity in the late 1850s, and in 1908, the breed was recognized by the American Kennel Club. But despite their ancient background, the Chihuahua's appearance has remained somewhat similar throughout the years, and the breed is well known for being the smallest dog breed. Furthermore, unlike some dog breeds, the Chihuahua is easily recognizable by many people. However, to those who have never owned a Chihuahua, they may all appear the same, but they are not. Actually, there are several types of Chihuahuas, but each one is easily distinguished. So sit back, relax and enjoy our video as we highlight 8 different types of Chihuahuas. We will categorize the different types of Chihuahuas according to official types and unofficial types. The official types are recognized as a separate variety of Chihuahuas by the American Kennel Club and the Federation Sinologique Internationale, while the unofficial types are not recognized as a separate variety. Let's start with the official types. There are two in this category. Number 1. Short-haired Chihuahuas, also known as smooth-haired Chihuahuas. As the name indicates, a short-haired Chihuahua comes with short hair that should be soft and glossy. Needless to say, this coat type requires minimal brushing and minimal grooming, such as styling and trimming. Some do have an undercoat and some don't, but regardless, they do shed. The short-haired Chihuahuas were bred in order to tolerate the hot tropical weather in Mexico. But over the years, their DNA must have been rearranged, because nowadays short-haired chihuahuas can get sunburned, if left outdoors in the sun in the hot summer. So if you live in a tropical climate, or during the hot sticky summer months, make sure your short-haired chihuahua has plenty of shade and water. Conversely, due to their short coats, they are prone to getting cold rather quickly, so if you live in a colder climate, your short-haired chihuahua will need a sweater if you will be outdoors for an extended period. Number 2 is Long-Haired Chihuahuas Also known as Rough Coat Chihuahuas Long-Haired Chihuahuas, as the name indicates, have longer hair than the short-haired Chihuahuas. At first glance, the long-haired Chihuahuas look rather rugged and rough, at least in comparison to their short-haired counterparts. Which gives rise to their other name, Rough-Coated Chihuahua. A long-haired Chihuahua's coat texture should be soft with a downy undercoat. However, keep in mind that a long-haired chihuahua could take up to 24 months or so to develop his full and luxuriant coat. Something to consider is that chihuahuas with long hair do require regular brushing to keep their hair looking neat and healthy. However, their upkeep is not quite as demanding as frequently portrayed. With at least weekly brushing to prevent tangles and occasional haircuts, these chihuahuas are ready to go. Moreover, their hair is typically easier to manage than that of certain other long-haired breeds. Additionally, long-haired chihuahuas shed less than their short-haired counterparts and other long-haired dog breeds. Now let's look at the unofficial types of chihuahuas. There are six in this category. Number 1. Teacup Chihuahuas, also known as Micro Chihuahuas. As we said earlier, the Chihuahua is well known for being the smallest dog breed. Well, a teacup Chihuahua is even smaller than a regular Chihuahua. As the name implies, teacup Chihuahuas are so small that they can easily fit into a teacup. The average weight for an adult teacup Chihuahua is about 2.5 pounds, and they can grow to about 6 inches tall. This is due to selective breeding, in which smaller Chihuahuas are cross-bred to produce very small dogs. According to the American Kennel Club's website, there is no specification for a teacup Chihuahua, and the official standard size of a Chihuahua should not exceed 6 pounds. However, keep in mind that the teacup Chihuahua is the most controversial of the various types of Chihuahuas. The biggest issues with breeding teacup Chihuahuas is that they are still susceptible to all the health issues of a regular Chihuahua, in addition to the hazards and increased health issues due to their much smaller size. Number 2. A Chihuahua with an apple head, 
also known as an apple-headed chihuahua. The heads of these adorable little chihuahuas are somewhat rounded and apple-shaped looking. These chihuahuas are most likely the type that most people picture and they think of the breed. Apple-headed chihuahuas' eyes tend to protrude more than the other types of chihuahuas. Plus, they have a shorter nose, spiked ears, shorter legs, and an overall smaller body. Keep in mind that applehead chihuahuas are prone to eye issues, including ingrown eyelashes, due to their extra protruding eyes. If you plan on getting an applehead chihuahua, or if you are a proud parent, it's important to watch their eyes for any signs of injury or impairment, such as squinting. Plus, applehead chihuahuas, more frequently than not, have a soft area on the top of their heads known as a molera, which can be permeable. So, if your chihuahua is attacked or suffers a head injury, he could suffer brain damage and bleeding. Moreover, applehead chihuahuas have a tendency to be more prone to sinus and dental issues than the other types of chihuahuas, another reason to keep a close eye on your chihuahua's health if you have this type. Number 3. Deer-Headed Chihuahuas While the majority of chihuahuas have apple-shaped heads, others have deer-like heads. Plus, it couldn't be more obvious that deer-head chihuahuas got their name due to their head shape, large dark eyes, and often brown color. With these features, they resemble young deer. Additionally, deer-headed chihuahuas typically have longer noses and longer limbs than their apple-headed counterparts, which contributes to the deer-like appearance. Furthermore, in shows, the accepted breed standard is a well-rounded apple-shaped head, so unlike apple-head chihuahuas, the deer-head chihuahua head shape currently does not meet the standard to compete in dog shows. However, the advantage of having a deer-headed chihuahua is that its head shape is more natural-looking. Plus they tend to have fewer health concerns than the other types. Number 4. Paired-head chihuahuas. This head shape is the least common and perhaps the most undesirable of the chihuahua types. The pear-headed chihuahua is a result of crossbreeding between a deer-headed chihuahua and an apple-headed chihuahua. As the name indicates, the pear-headed chihuahua's skull is somewhat shaped like a pear. Plus, when compared to their deer-headed parent, the pear-headed chihuahua has a flatter skull and a larger snout. And when compared to their other parent, the apple-headed chihuahua, there is not much difference when it comes to health and behavior. Furthermore, the pear-headed chihuahua's head shape also does not meet the standard for dog shows and competitions. Number 5. Fawn Chihuahua. This type is known for its distinct fawn-colored coat, which is one of the most common colors for deer-headed chihuahuas. Ironically, fawn is a light tan color, which is similar to that of a baby deer's fur. Furthermore, because their name is a result of their fawn coat, it is often asserted that any of the other types of chihuahua could fall into this category, if they too have a fawn coat. Number 6. Merle Chihuahuas. On the other hand, Merle Chihuahuas are known for their distinct colors and spotted coat patterns, and as such, are often classified as a different type of chihuahua. However, the Merle Chihuahua is typically a long-haired Chihuahua and is not a separate type by any means. Although coat length, head shape, and size are frequently used to classify Chihuahuas, these small dogs can come in a range of coat colors and patterns. As a result, they may be referred to as Merle Chihuahuas, Fawn Chihuahuas, White Chihuahuas, or any of the breed's other colors. Also, to summarize an important point. As per the American Kennel Club and other international kennel clubs, chihuahuas must have a well-rounded, apple-domed head, without or with molera, in order to meet the official breed standard. This means that currently, only long-haired apple-head or short-haired apple-head chihuahuas meet the standards. What type of chihuahua do you have? Tell us in the comments section below. And please support our channel by subscribing to receive more videos like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.